2019, the World Organization for Animal Health collected the following incomplete statistics of pigs killed and disposed of in different countries due to African swine fever virus, a giant and complex DNA virus that causes a highly contagious and often lethal pig disease. Bulgaria 137,170 China 76,159 Hong Kong 10,674 Korea 26,983 Laos 7,152 Philippines 252,877 Poland 31,336 Romania 82,073 Russia 120,641 Ukraine 101,340 Vietnam 4,215,741 Unofficially. China's numbers of pigs culled, slaughtered early, or lost to the disease in the first year of the outbreak were probably closer to 200 million. Acute forms of African swine fever are characterized by high fever, depression, anorexia, and loss of appetite, hemorrhages in the skin, redness of skin on ears, abdomen, and legs, abortion and pregnant sores, cyanosis, vomiting diarrhea, and death within 6 to 13 days. Mortality rates may be as high as 100%. Despite being in circulation for nearly 100 years, there is still no vaccine. What the meat industry wants is a profitable world. A world of standardized food, pigs in giant factories, workers who rarely leave the compound, where most people never see or hear a pig, and pork that is transported widely. The pig from far away, the pig from a nearby farm, their death smells the same. Pig flesh circulates around the globe. This is how African swine fever spreads. Death can travel further than the living. Meanwhile, humans and pigs live in this world, not only far apart, but close together. Food scraps from one's table going into another's feed. It's both worlds together and overlapping. The industrial and the small-scale exploitation the African swine fever thrives on. Pig bodies struggle but succumb. Dead pigs become, this shouldn't happen, but pig flesh that still carries viral life. Crossing borders in trucks, on planes, while pigs are still contained, or outbreak detected. Pigs not yet taken by the virus are culled, collected, killed, laid to rest, covered in the earth on either side, other pig bodies. Over and over, pig bodies struggle but succumb. Dead pigs become, this shouldn't happen, but pig flesh that still carries viral life. Crossing pig borders in trucks, but on succumb. planes, Dead while pigs, pigs become, are still this shouldn't happen, but pig or flesh that still outbreak carries detected. viral life. Crossing pigs borders not yet taken on by planes, the virus, while pigs Culled, still contained, collected, or killed, detected. Pigs laid not to yet rest, taken by the virus, covered in the earth, collected, on either side, killed, laid to rest, bodies, covered in the over earth, and over. on either pig side, side pig other pig succumb. bodies, over Dead and pigs over. Become, pig bodies this shouldn't happen, but succumb. pig flesh Dead that pigs still become, carries viral life. Pig crossing flesh borders still carries and trucks viral and life. planes, crossing while borders pigs and trucks are still contained, planes, while pigs or are still contained. outbreak detected, or outbreak detected. Pigs, pigs not yet taken, pigs by, not the yet taken by the virus, are, are culled, collected, collected, killed, laid to rest, covered, covered in the earth, on either side, other pig bodies, over and over. We tell this story because we want to think about how we treat pandemics when they occur to other creatures. Creatures who have grown more and more fond of as we've spent more time learning and thinking about them. We tell this story because, having learned about African swine fever for the first time in December 2019, we were confused. We couldn't see something in the stories that had been reported. There was something missing. The pigs. And so we ask, where, Where are, are the, the pigs? pigs? If African swine fever reached the UK, it would be devastating to our commercial pig industry, smallholders, and pet pig keepers alike. Where are the pigs? African swine fever in China is turning out to be the largest global event for animal protein. Where are the pigs? 
The impacts are going to completely change the global trade in animal protein over the next 10 years. And those changes will be permanent. Where are the pigs? While small farmers have been decimated, the outbreaks are a windfall for transnational meat companies and the companies that supply them. Where are the pigs? Here's the irony. We're the world's largest hog producer, and there's this hog disease, and we had it. That caused a disproportionate rise in prices, and we actually ended up making more money. Where are the pigs? We've searched for the pigs. Here are the places we found them. The pigs are in agri-logistics. Pigs are future profits, enmeshed into the growth death machine. They're future pork, national GDP contributors. The inmates of multi-storied factory farms with a suffocating ammonia smell, never seeing the sky or the sun in the cells. Pigs are in the farms of British farmers in colonized Kenya 100 years ago after rinderpest, another animal disease, has killed the cattle that sustains indigenous lifeways. These are the domestic pigs who are first exposed to African swine fever. As African swine fever has spread, in pig farms throughout East Asia, one outcome has been the construction of industrial-scale pig farms. From these farms, porcine face recognition software tracks each of the thousands of pigs. The human workers live in dormitories. They must decontaminate themselves whenever they leave the site. Pigs are in the soil. The pigs that die due to African swine fever or are killed while they are still healthy as a just in case this is a risk kind of measure are put into the soil. Either dumped straight into the ground or burned. The bodies of these pigs in their mass graves will decay. What will happen to the soil around, under and above them? What worlds are composed through this viral decomposition? Pigs are in the global supply chains, in blue shipping containers, on airplanes. African swine fever is a very durable virus. As pig flesh is transported around the world, the virus follows. In this way, for example, African swine fever traveled to Haiti on an airplane in a sandwich. The pigs are in cells filled with carbon dioxide, packed together in an elevator, lowered down into a room where they will inhale just enough of the carbon dioxide for their central nervous system to shut down. It is the very same carbon dioxide that in massive quantities is now pumped into the air by burning fossil fuels and heats up the earth. The pigs are in the fields, full of daisies and roots and sunshine. We've seen a glimpse of a different life for pigs. The pigs that we've met, close to where we live, are not impacted by African swine fever. We saw them enjoying themselves while rooting in the field, digging holes. The piglets chase sow mothers around, hungry for milk. Even though the field is big, we seldom saw a pig by itself in one of the corners. In this field, they play too. The pig games that look like fun and bring us joy to watch. But don't get us wrong, these pigs too are killed for human appetites. So we need to imagine this differently. Pigs are in old age. We think of the pigs in Hartmut Kiewert's paintings, welcomed into urban life or making a new life in the ruins of a factory. We think of the pigs who escaped, fugitive ancestors of feral pigs across the world. We think of the pigs who have made it to sanctuaries, who have found a place to grow old. Their numbers are too few, but their stories are important. Pigs are in the memories of other pigs, and now in ours too. Pigs are curious and imaginative creatures, and like many other creatures, pigs have the capacity to mourn, to grieve for lost companions. Judith Butler and James Staniskew teach us that grief can be political. Through grieving together, we reimagine and restory the world. We wonder, what kind of politics can grieving for and with pigs enable? We imagine that pigs dream not only of a world without pandemics, but without the agri-logistics they're trapped in. The kind of world where both pig lives and deaths matter, and are so much more than just the most significant event in the global protein market in a decade. A world where to celebrate living pigs and remember pigs who are gone, we hold appropriate ceremonies of celebration and commemoration.
body, heavy or light, lay in the cool ground, caress the smooth soil, take a deep breath. Nostrils wide open, eyes closed tight. The soil knows the pigs, it knows you too. Imagine the chatter, the oink oink, the ri ri ri, the ra 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 ra, the grumble grumble grumble, and what they all mean. Nostrils wide open.